two and three quarter inch 12 pellet double F buck. So no penetrations on that. We're gonna do 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, one ounce slug. Front, and there's the back. Nothing came through. People often underestimate how much backpack armor will protect you from. The NIJ standards don't tell the whole story. Now you put a bunch of school books in the front of this, get a significant amount of protection for very little weight. Today after field training, we're gonna be talking about backpack body armor, 11 by 14 panels. All of our examples today are from Safe Life Defense, but this goes for most backpack body armor panels. We're gonna to try to give you a good overview of what you get and what you give away when you go with certain levels of protection and certain body armor types for backpack body armor. Now backpack body armor, your most general type and the cheapest type that's generally out there that people are using are hard composite panels. So it's gonna be a hard 3A panel that slides into the backpack. Now the advantage of this is that it kind of works like having a frame in the backpack if it's the right backpack, if it fits really tightly. The downside of that is that it's not as comfortable generally speaking when it's in a backpack that isn't specifically designed for that particular panel and fitting very tightly. If it fits tightly, it keeps the backpack a little away from your back, allows a little more airflow. If it doesn't fit tightly, it becomes an uncomfortable hard lump in your back which isn't necessarily a good thing. Going from there, and like I often tell people with body armor, you start off in the middle and you get something with pretty good protection. In that case, hard composite panels are normally 3A rated, which means they stop 9, 40, 45, 12 gauge buckshot, things like that, all the way up to 44 mag. And then from there, you either go one way, which is more protective, or another way, which is more comfortable, thinner lighter, all of that fun stuff. And when you go further into these spectrums, things start getting more and more expensive. So in the lineup that we have here today, we have four different 11 by 14 panels, and then I'll give you an extra option for backpack body armor at the end that offers even more protection. So starting off, you give a 3A soft armor panel. This allows a lot more flex than you would get from a hard composite 3A. These are the cheapest way to get into soft armor panels. They're a little heavier than they, the absolute thinnest, lightest thing possibly could be, and they're a little less protective than the more protective options, but it gives you all of the advantages of that hard armor composite without having the hard lump in your back. You've got something that will actually conform to your back. Their example here is Safe Life's 3A, which is their standard armor, and the 3A panel in 11 by 14 and it starts at only like $100 for a backpack panel. So it's a pretty cheap way into soft armor backpack panels. From there, on the other end of the spectrum, we get into 3A+. This is a little thicker, a little heavier, a little bit more expensive. It's about $150 when you start getting into the 3A+. And what the plus gives you is spike, stab, and slash resistance. It gives you protection not only against 940, 45, 44 mag, things like that, but you start getting into the 12 gauge slug territory where this will stop that. You start getting into FN 5.7 rounds, the solid copper FN 5.7 rounds that are marked as like law enforcement only. Start getting into Liberty Civil Defense 9 millimeter, things that normally give normal 3A armor a hard time. Now in the extreme outlier the other direction, you get into things like Hyperline. I did a separate video short about this. I'll put a little link up there talking about this being a very, very concealable, very thin, very light option. What Hyperline and the other like super thin soft armor panels 
and Backpack Armor give you is the ability to leave it in there all the time and to get your kids to leave it in there all the time. It is a great option for if you've got really small kids that are going to be really sensitive to how heavy and thick that backpack is. Where a 3A or 3A plus panel is flexible and comfortable to leave in there, it's about as heavy and thick as a textbook maybe for a you know first or second grader. Whereas Hyperline is less than a quarter inch thick and weighs plus or minus a pound depending on whether you have the cover on it. It's really, really, really light. You don't even notice this in a backpack most of the time. And you get the same type of conforming to your body effect. On the exact opposite end of the spectrum, you get into Frass. This is an 11 by 14 Frass panel. This stops rifle rounds. You're talking M193, M855, 762 by 39 rounds out of an AK. Lots of things that give soft armor an absolute fit where you need 8, 9, 10 layers of soft armor in order to stop it. Frass will do it, and it does it with a minimum of weight and thickness. The Frass is 5.3 pounds, whereas Hyperline is 1 pound. The Frass is $600, whereas Hyperline is $299. So you start, again, you start down the baseline, then when you go to more protective, it gets heavier and it gets more expensive. And when you get thinner and lighter, it gets thinner and lighter, but it also gets more expensive. Your final option is to go into level four plates. Now, an 11 by 14 full level four plate is very protective, but when you start getting it into 11 by 14 sizes, they get extremely heavy. And if you put a 10 by 12 in, you're losing out on a lot of coverage area that you're not getting by having the 11 by 14 filling up that backpack. The other problem you have if you go to full level four plates and you just throw a 10 by 12 in there is that these don't always fit really well in most backpacks. They send a sink further down into the backpack which ends up protecting the lower back of whoever it is that's carrying the backpack and not up in the upper part of your chest protecting your lungs and your heart and the other stuff that, you know, keep you alive. So those are your options and here is one brand's different methods by which to fulfill your need for backpack body armor should you feel you have the need in your life. If you're interested, the links and coupon codes and all of that for all of the backpack body armor that you've seen here before and the rifle plate and other stuff is down in the description. Until next week, guys be safe, take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of these other goofy videos that I've made. Or you could subscribe or maybe go over to Patreon and see how you get your name put on the videos like these fine folks over here. All the links are, of course, down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.